Today we're talking about how to train your dragon from Lantac. Hi guys, my name is Dave Tim. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Today we're talking about the Lantac Dragon muzzle device. Now Lantac USA is a company that's making high quality components for the AR market and they've been doing so for a couple of years now. Now the Dragon muzzle device has been on the market for uh, at least a couple of years and I first learned about it when I saw some of their videos where they were showing some sustained full auto bursts and some recoil management and the muzzle device was attributed to the success of that particular shooter on video and it really looked good. Now it's been on my list to try for a while but with all the other stuff going on uh, just recently I actually got a sample to try out for myself. Now the sample I have I installed on my three gun rifle which is shown here and I shot a few matches with it as well as some drills and classes and I gotta say, the uh, muzzle device really did impress me. So you guys know about me, first things first is disclosure. Uh, we did receive the Lantac Dragon 4 review, so I didn't pay for it, but there was no promise or guarantee of a good review. You're gonna hear my actual and true thoughts about the device. Now, what I wanted to do with the device was get it installed on a rifle and actually shoot a bunch of different things with it. I wanted to shoot some accuracy tests to see if it would affect accuracy. I wanted to shoot a match or two with it. I wanted to shoot some drills and training to really get to know the device and as well as you know compare it to what I was using before, various compensators or flash hiders. And the bottom line up front is this is a really good compensator. Now keep in mind, it is a compensator. It has a lot of ports. It has some percussion or some uh, blast, if you will. It's not as obnoxious as some of the other products on the market, but it's definitely uh, geared towards the competition market, I would say in some regards, uh, for maximum effectiveness. However, I know there's a lot of guys uh, in kind of that tactical realm or whatever who also like to run a compensating type muzzle device with, you know, you just have to realize what the side effects are of people around you. So if you were in a stack or something like that. So a little bit about the device, 2.57 inches by 0.87. And why that's relevant to you is that if you're a three gun shooter, most major matches require the muzzle device to be under one by three. So this clearly is. And it's three, just over three ounces. So it's not that uh, heavy or anything like that. Every single one of them is serial numbered for quality control. And it's just a really nice machine product. When I first received uh, the two samples, I noticed no machining marks, noticed uh, no tooling marks or anything like that. They did a good job in presenting the product. Now how it works is basically through uh, a baffle type blast chamber system. It has three side ports on each side as shown. It has four top ports and then it has a tri port on the front which actually helps to reduce the flash signature. Now keep in mind this is not a flash hider so you will still get some muzzle flash but it does a pretty decent job of controlling flash for a compensator type device and it does a really good job at controlling recoil. So I was shooting some drills now we were shooting steel out to 100 yards and I had zero issue keeping the reticle or the dot on the steel target. I had just a slight impulse as expected with any rifle, but how it controlled and affected the recoil from the shooter's perspective was very pleasant. Now even uh, those to the side did notice that they could feel some of the muzzle blast, but it wasn't as obnoxious as I mentioned earlier as some of the other devices on the market. So all in all I think it's a really really solid device. It's long enough for those guys who wanted to pin it on a 14 and a half inch barrel so you can do that. And I know a couple of shooters, really good shooters, who are pinning this on a 14 and a half inch barrel for their three gun rifle. So no issues whatsoever with that. The wrench flats on the Dragon for a muzzle device for a 5.56 are industry standard three quarter inch. So you can use a quality three quarter inch wrench, which is nice because the flats are large enough. You don't need a specific armorer's wrench or a good quality armorer's wrench would work as well. But I thought it was a nice touch that they made the flats large enough so a standard wrench could be used. I've really enjoyed shooting the Dragon on my three gun rifle and it's gonna stay on there for the foreseeable future. Now keep in mind it is a compensator so you are gonna have some muzzle blast if you're shooting on maybe sand or loose gravel, things like that. You will probably have some disruption of the ground a little bit, but it really wasn't anything noticeable. And even when I was shooting, you know, 
close inside of a vehicle on a stage, it was really not that big of a deal. The other thing to keep in mind is that depending on if you're planning on using a suppressor or not, you can't mount a suppressor that I'm aware of to this muzzle device. But speaking of mounting things to the Dragon, Lantac has announced a blast mitigation device, which is actually going to be a shroud or a shield that goes onto the Dragon and that'll help uh, direct more force and percussion forward. So if you're in like a training class or something like that. Now that's a product I'm particularly interested in because on the training side, I always see students who have these obnoxious compensators and it's really annoying to the students on the other side of that particular shooter. So having a device that you could quick clamp on, direct that muzzle blast forward, could mean that you don't have to change muzzle devices for a class or a training session. You just throw this on at the range and then when you go to your competition or match, you take that off and you have the full effects. But that muzzle uh, attachment system is going to be secured with the rings here and it looks to be a really solid option that uh, isn't going to be too outrageous in price. So we'll do a full review on that once we can get our hands on one of those as well. But all in all, if you're interested in learning more about the Lantac, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. We'll put a link in the description below where you can learn more about it and to purchase one from Lantac USA. And as the name implies, they are a United States company and the product is made in the US as well. Whenever you're shooting, make sure you shoot safe. Always wear your eye and ear protection. Thanks for watching and have a great day.